before that before going to the ui we have one more missing piece so our auth service ready we are creating the token but we are not verifying it so we have not implemented authentication authorization in our api so we need to implement that remember we added this package microsoft asp network authentication jwt bearer we are going to use this in program.cs okay here we'll introduce our authentication so we'll say builder before builder dot build builder dot services dot add authentication okay and inside this uh, let's use authentication options on this options we'll say options dot default authentication scheme we are going to use JWT bearer defaults dot authentication scheme. And same thing we'll set our default challenge scheme as well. So options dot default challenge scheme equal same JWT bearer defaults dot authentication scheme. All right. Now on this add authentication, we'll chain add JWT bearer because this is the thing we are going to use. Inside this also, we'll configure some options. Okay. Now, using these options, here we will define the validation thing. Here we have token validation parameters. This we need to define. Okay. Now, for this, we'll say option dot token validation parameters equals. This is going to be a type new token validation parameters we can move this in using and it needs a list of things okay we'll see almost the things which we have uh, added when we were creating our service so we have added our security key so we'll provide the sure signing key we'll provide uh, what is the valid issuer? What is the valid audience? And when this all, all these things we are going to use. So let's go here. And here we'll say first thing issuer signing key. So this should be the same signing key which we are using in here. So the signing key is this symmetric security key. So these two lines. Now you can maybe extract this method generate JW token and that logic in some separate utility class or right now I'm going to use these directly here. Now here this underscore configuration does not exist, but builder dot configuration does exist here. So builder dot configuration dot get value this. And now we have the symmetric key, which is issuer signing key. So the symmetric key after this we'll say what is the valid issuer for this so this valid issuer is this issuer and after that we'll use valid audience who is the valid audience so valid audience is this configuration get get value valid audience okay then we can simply provide these flags that what all you should validate against. So we'll say validate issuer. Validate. Oh my God. I'm sorry. This validate issuer. This is valid issuer. Valid issuer. And this is valid audience. And here we'll say validate issuer. Yes, you should. And validate. Validate audience yes validate it and validate issuer signing key yes you should validate all these things now underscore configuration does not exist here builder dot configuration is so builder dot configuration builder dot configuration now our token validation parameters is ready save everything and now we are good cool so using this we have introduced uh, authentication functionality in our application. Now we'll use this authentication. So in our 
HTTP request pipeline after builder dot build where we have our app. So maybe after HTTPS redirection, here we'll say app dot use authentication. Save it. Now we are good. Our authentication implementation is also ready using this JWT bearer. Cool. Now we'll work on the UI part for login functionality and uh, authentication state provider implementation for our Blazor WebAssembly application.